Hello and welcome to this video. For camera disassembly use higher quality J000 Phillips screwdriver. This is very important to avoid damage of screws. When tightening, apply moderate pressure to the screwdriver to prevent stripping the screws. Especially during the first attempt to loosen screws, you may need moderate force, so please make sure you push the screwdriver firmly against the screw. Once all screws are loosened, slowly open the camera. Be careful with the internal connecting cable as it's very sensitive to tearing. Lift the rear cover and set it aside next to the camera, again being cautious about the connecting cable. Now it's necessary to cut the foil at the transition between the cover and the segment with the buttons that need to be removed. Use a hobby scalpel or knife. Proceed carefully to avoid damaging other parts and, if possible, make the cut invisible after reassembly. Now remove screws holding button assembly part. One of the screws is hidden under the foil. Gently pierce the foil with a screwdriver at the spot where the screw is visible in the video. The hidden screw does not need to be completely removed. It can remain concealed under the foil, resulting in less visible damage of the foil. Now lift the button segment and set the back cover of the camera aside. Handle the back cover carefully to prevent the plastic buttons from popping out. Now disconnect the circular button unit. Disconnecting should be done along the axis of the cable directly and carefully. Do not pull the cable from the side as it may tear. Alternatively, you can use a fine needle nose tweezer to disconnect the connector. Set aside and store the rotary controller. Now prepare the LR1 expander, which we will connect to the rotary controller connector. We remind you again that the connection must be made directly along the axis of the connector and caution must be exercised. Pressure on the flat cable should only be applied at the point reinforced with plastic reinforcement. Once the cable is inserted into the connector, seat the expander into the button segment. Now reassemble the button lid using the same procedure as it was disassembled. Make sure that there was no movement of the buttons during handling and that the button latches are in the correct position. The insertion of the buttons should be completely smooth without the need for force. During each step, be mindful of the main connecting cable. It's important to avoid pulling or tearing it.
Once all the silver screws are screwed in, carefully seat the camera lid back in place. Now very cautiously screw in the black screws holding the lid. Avoid damaging the screws by tightening them too much. Congratulations! The LR1 expander is installed and you can proceed to connect it to Mavlink.